about an hour after I was in the office, I got a call from our reception, which was downstairs, to say that there was um, a soldier and a military man waiting to see me downstairs. So again, this was something that had to be faced. You, you couldn't run away from it. Mm. What I did was I wrote a letter to one of my colleagues, Sister Janice McLaughlin, and I left it with one of my colleagues, Morris Sangbiwa. It was sealed. Morris didn't see it. Janice didn't see it. And it just said, General Nongo has sent a car for me. And then they could draw their own conclusions sure. if I didn't come back. Yeah. And then I go down to the street and there's this very, as I write in my book, this very smart looking gentleman who had been part of the group last night. It, it was um, um, Agrippa Mutambara. Uh, um, retired had, General um, Agrippa Mutambara. He was yeah, not retired then. No, at that stage he was head of the staff college. And so he opened the door of the car for me, I got in, we went on our way to where or what, I didn't know. My, my mind refused to, to think it about all? it. Yeah. It was the same when I was taken from Jikarubi prison to, um, uh, to uh, from Maradela's prison to Chikarubi. The authorities said, you're being moved, we don't know where you're going. And you lapse into a state of such mm. panic. There's nothing you can do except keep breathing. So anyway, off we go, and Mutambara is very pleasant. And I could tell that he was very distressed too. He was telling me that he was in the process of divorcing his wife, who had been unfaithful. We stopped at um, a bottle store. He bought some orange juice, some beer. Then we went into um, a house. I don't know where it was, maybe a chikarubi. And there he slept with me and I didn't resist because I knew that there would be consequences from the time that I spoke to Nongo. Mutambara was just the tool that they used. Then eventually it was over, he took me back into town, dropped me, he gave me his card. That was now Friday. I went then to see a friend of mine who was a psychiatrist at the university, Dr. Noel Galen, and told him everything. He got medical attention for me and everything. And um, life continued. You, you have said that Agrippa Mtambara, in your view, saved your life. Yes. By not killing you. Yes. I do believe that. He and could have killed you. He could have. He, I suppose he could have. I suppose he could have. But he certainly didn't like what he was doing. Okay. So he raped you, but he says in public that he never did it. I think he says that it was consensual. Thank you.